Hey guys, Scott here. I just wanted to give my final thoughts on Pinhead now that he actually works and I can lunch with him and play him to, uh, you know, his theoretical full potential. Uh, there's still a couple of things to master on him because he's not a super easy killer to play. It is definitely very uh, nurse-like. But uh, overall, I have reached like a consensus of what I think about him. And I think he is anywhere between not that great to extremely strong. And I know that's a wide value and doesn't really indicate anything. But... Um, the reason the value is so wide is because this killer is extremely RNG dependent, which is why I don't like him in the end. I thought his actual power, uh, was really, really cool. Actually, like, using his powers, uh, it's a very unique kind of combination of, like, nurse and huntress and aiming and stuff like that. And I think it's, um, it's fun. It's a fun power to use. But he is so RNG dependent on two main factors. The first part is his actual chains themselves their RNG where they actually spawn. So you could hit a perfect shot on somebody and then the chains just spawn like in a wall or something like that and then they immediately break. Or you can get good luck and they will spawn like right in front of the survivor, right where they have to go with no uh, interruptions or anything like that. And it will just completely slow them down like even more than clown and you get a ton of value out of it. So just depending on how lucky you get with the actual uh, gateways that come out, you can have essentially a useless power or you can have an extremely powerful clown slowdown um that's like stronger than clowns so it's just very rng dependent now there's also the rng of the actual chain hunts and this is what makes him significantly better than clown chain hunts are extremely good game delay and even that is determined by rng so i even tried builds where you can focus the box um, like with just hoarder and then, you know, extended gateway range, increased time to solve the box, things like that. And then I'd pester the person trying to solve the box and then I'd down them and get the box open. And then a chain hunt would start. And then 10 seconds or 10 seconds later, the chain hunt would end before I even get any value out of it whatsoever. And that happened quite frequently. Now I'm not saying that happens all the time. In fact, sometimes it spawns the box, you know, 40 meters away from the survivor on red forest and it takes them a long time to get there. And then I have a shit ton of game delay for free. So it really is, again, just an, an incredible uh, level of randomness, how much value you're going to get out of Chain Hunt. And I, I don't like that. So the minimum value uh, of distance that I can spawn is 16 meters away, which is four seconds of running. So after 10 seconds of downing the survivor and getting the box, 10 seconds later, it can spawn four seconds away from somebody else. That should give you a, a, an example of how quickly they can neuter your power. And then also there is the possibility of it spawning over, I think, 40 meters away um, within, within the same amount of time. So there's just that level of RNG again that makes it uh, pretty much useless or an extremely powerful level of game delay. Even if you have a build centered around it, you're still at the mercy of essentially just luck. So it is uh, not something I'm a huge fan of, to be honest. I don't like killers that are RNG dependent. Like, I would actually like Pig, but... You know, her RNG uh, with her boxes, you can get either, you know, one trap of game delay or you can get, you know, they have to search every single box. So you can get 20 seconds of game delay or like a minute and a half of game delay. And that's for every trap. And this kind of reminds me of that, too. Depending on how um, the box spawns, you might get zero value out of Chain Hunt. Additionally, it still seems like holding the box is a much better idea than uh, consistently trying to resolve it, especially if they have a uh, build to find it. Uh, I included this game uh, in the B-roll because one of their teammates held onto the box for the entire match and they didn't have any real negative impact on them whatsoever. They still did very well. So a, a good team that is aware of how to abuse it, it's, it's still much better to just have one person just hold the box and there's not enough really of a downside. So, um, you know, it's... It's hard to say. I, I really do enjoy the concept of the killer. I really, really love the skill cap of having to shoot out the chain and then having to aim the chain. I wish there was uh, even more to that. I wish they expanded on that aspect of it even more. Give you some rewards for hitting long range chains and not just spawning the gateway right on top of people. Um, but at the end of the day, I think the killer just has a little too much RNG for me to uh, consider him to be reliably good. He can be useless or he can be extremely strong it's just uh it's definitely a grab bag and yeah i'm not a fan of the rng based killer so um i guess that is about it i'm kind of disappointed in the end to see how much he is reliant on luck 
because like I said, I, I do really like how he plays and uh, yeah, to have that be kind of thrown out because oh, you can just get unlucky and then his power does nothing. I, I just hate that. I hate hitting an amazing shot and then just nothing happens. It's just a really shitty feeling. So um, that is it. That is my thoughts on Pinhead. Uh, slightly disappointed after playing him for a while and figuring out how he works. Um, but I do respect the direction they went in making his power both kind of unique and also not brainless to use. It actually takes a little bit of time to learn how to use his power, and I really uh, enjoy that a lot. I hope they have more killers that are like that. Basically, more pinheads, less wraiths, for example. I think that's a uh, better course for the game. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, um, he has the potential to be great, but he also has the potential to be pretty shitty. So uh, that is it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.